Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., all rights reserved. Well, I'm leaving you, baby. Lord, I'm going back home today. It's flooding down in Texas. I bet they wish it were flooding. It, it was... <laughs> I'm, I can't remember if they're still in the drought or not. That's a little Stevie Ray. A little Stevie Ray Vaughn bringing us back. And uh, we got our good friend Bob Kuska here with us, too, ladies and gentlemen. Bob is the uh, the founder of the Fusion Factor. I'm Jim Blasting Game, and uh, you're listening to the Small Business Advocate Show. We're celebrating the fifth anniversary of Bob Kuska's membership in the Brain Trust. And I know, Bob, it's like a dream come true for you, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> I, I woke up this morning saying, I think it's the 50th anniversary. Yeah, there you go. What, what a great day, right? <laughs> hey, hey, Bob, we're talking about the four uh, sort of, uh, of categ- not, not categories, really almost a conditions, timeline. Conditions. Almost conditions, almost a timeline of, of your, your HR uh, a career, your career uh, managing people. Uh, main, you gotta, you, we talked about maintaining a minute ago. We, in the previous segment, we're going to talk about growing, we're going to talk about evolving, and then we're going to talk about uh, uh, contracting. But in the growth in the growth co- part of the time continuum on this, your relationship with other people, what does that look like? Well, let me give you one example that I, I'm, I'm seeing right now. Um, I've got one business that I work with. It's, a, it's an IT consulting business. It's a fabulous business. Uh, they are growing leaps and bounds. And recently, they got themselves in trouble. Uh, they were not planning while they were growing, yep. and they more than doubled the number of employees they had. And these are expensive employees because yep. they're, they're basically consultants. And the owner now has a cash flow situation. He did not project the cash flow, the impact on cash flow of this new payroll, did he? He did not. He did is, not. Does, he does kept he, adding he, bodies. And, 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 and you know what you else? Know, his contracts don't pay off you know, immediately. They have that's long-term the, contracts. That's the other thing. Yeah. And when you're in a, a high overhead business, you know, people are expensive. I always say to, to my clients, people are expensive. Do the math. Yeah. And when you're sitting down and planning, you've got to say, am I going to get a return on investment for every employee I add, and, and how long is that going to take for me to pay that back? Well, see, that, that company is, is an example of what I've said on this show for 15, almost 15 years now. And that is that you, if, you don't, if you don't watch your cash, if you don't watch your receivables, and match up your and and and, and develop uh, an understanding of the difference between days payable and days receivable. You can literally succeed yourself out of business. Mm-hmm. That that I'm, I I hope that company doesn't do it, and, and they and they probably won't. But that company could be in peril of going out of business, even though they're sitting on a mountain of contracts. Mm-hmm. And I'll tell you another thing that that happened to them, uh, Jim. And this kind of kind of edges a little bit into the evolve. Uh, as they were growing, they did not have on their financial side the level of talent they need. Right. They should have had a controller or a financial manager who could have looked at this and said, "Hey, if we're going to add on all this overhead, this is what it's going to do to the cash flow." Well, let me tell you something. I, I'm going to tell you something better than that, Bob. You could have had you don't you don't have to have a, a financial genius to do that. All you need is a, is a twelve month spreadsheet sh- showing when the cash is going to come in and when the cash is going out. It's a it's a simple it's really a simple document to manage once you build the formulas and they're not that difficult. And you you can tell I mean I do that in my business and I'm not a financial genius. No, you're right, Jim. But what I do find with a lot of entrepreneurs that I work with, their talent is in you know a particular category. So, for instance, this particular guy was a technical guy, but they might be a marketing guy or a sales mm-hmm. guy. And you're right. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to look at a spreadsheet, but they don't always focus there. Right. Yeah. And they oh, don't yeah. always focus on the HR planning aspect of it. The, the, if you ever see a, a person walking down the street looking like they got run over by a truck, and you, know, you knew that they had a business day before yesterday, and you say, what happened? And they say, I'm, my, I had to close my business. Wait a minute. I thought you had all those contracts. Well, we ran out of cash, and I couldn't get, and, my, and I didn't have a good banking relationship, so I wasn't able to bridge the the difference between my receivables and my and my payables. I didn't have enough capital in the business. I was undercapitalized, like all small business owners are, and so therefore, literally, had to, couldn't make payroll. And that's, that's right. and as you know, Bob, the cardinal sin of being a business owner is not making payroll. 
That's right. Missing and seventy percent of the businesses today, Jim, are, are in the knowledge business. You know, they're delivering services right. that are based on the talent that you have. Right. Let's move on and talk about uh, Evolve. Well, yeah. How does Evolve and Grow work together? You know, your business changes. It, it can change in the service that you deliver, the volume of services, the number of products, all of those things. And therefore, you have to have your talent evolve with it. And, and let me give you one a good example. I, I, I call this an example of the brother-in-law hiring process. <laughs> it, it, it's a lack of planning. I, I had one client... And he, when he called me in, he wanted me to do an assessment of his IT organization. And when I met his CIO, I went back to him and said, you know, I've hired a lot of IT people, and this guy does not seem to be the, 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 the visionary, the leader to lead your organization. I'm just curious, why'd you hire him? He said to me, well, he said, uh, my website wasn't delivering to my customers as well as it needed to be. And I had my biggest customer say, if you don't get a better website up in 60 mm -hmm. days, we're not doing business with you. Hmm. He said, so I hired this guy to d design my website, and he did a great job. So I made him my CIO. <laughs> and I said, well, you know, you didn't look at what was the talent necessary to, to drive your, right. your business. Now, you know, we're talking about cost here. You know what it cost my client? Hmm. This CIO, in the course of 18 months, signed a contract with a very large software company and bought in a lot of hardware oh, no. that cost him over a million dollars. Wow, they didn't, it, probably didn't need. It didn't need, couldn't use it. Wow. He, he needed a solution. This guy picked the wrong solution. Every, every business is evolving right now in ways that, that in, in, in speed, that's never happened before. The, the, the changes are happening so rapidly. If you, you've got to make sure, folks, that your human resources uh, component of your business is matching that kind of evolution, that kind of growth, and, and those kinds of, of, of requirements. So, folks, yeah, this is and, not and something... Here's one of the conditions oh, hold on to that thought, Bob. We've got to take a quick break. It's Tintail. Right back. More to come with Bob Kuska after these messages. Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., intended for the private use of our audience. Except as otherwise provided by copyright law, all other copying, redistribution, or publication without prior written consent is prohibited. All rights reserved.